Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending January 5th. I would like to make this show a little bit different than my average TDD report. This will not be so much focused on science and technology, although indirectly it does have a science and technology connection when you see what it's about. I got an email from my buddy Jesus Freak talking about a subject that he would like me to talk about in TDD report and it was at the same time oh, it's amazing you guys have been sending these emails and about the same time I've been thinking of ideas so when I'm thinking about the idea myself and I get an email I'm thinking it's just it's like it's supposed to be so he sent me an email about this organization called Hope for Pause and they have a YouTube channel I'll put it down as usual down in the description area I will put the the appropriate links to everything so I want to bring you guys up to date at what's been happening in my life lately. We have a new little addition to the family whose name is Cosmo, short for Cosmology. And this is a really interesting story. I've been working for about a year looking for a possible animal that needs a rescue. I've been working loosely with an organization of friends that are into rescuing like I am on Facebook. And time after time I would try to get different dogs from different parts of the country and something would fall through either the transportation didn't work out or something else would happen to where it really just wouldn't work out to be able to get the animal to me to be able to rescue it so I figured I'll just keep on working and working and when it got close to Christmas time just maybe a week before Christmas time I went on Google and I just simply typed in no kill shelter Illinois and I got this group of uh, rescuers that were in my local area as a matter of fact they don't have a building per se it's called a heart for animals and uh, it's just a loose group of people that um, take care of and foster dogs until they can find a home for them so I jumped on there and uh, filled out a request to uh, get contact with them and so they ended up calling me back and uh, this dog Cosmo that I ended up with he was rescued from a Chicago pound and because he had to be treated for heartworm, as you know, when you're dealing with a city pound, they're not going to pay $700 to give a, a dog um, heart treatment, even if the dog's an excellent dog, even if the dog is adoptable, they just won't spend that kind of money on it. So basically his destination was going to be, you know, underground. He was going to be put down. So that was great that they went down there and grabbed him, and they also got a veterinarian in the local area to work with them and do his heart treatment for half price and basically with that and all the rest of the stuff they've put into him they've probably spent well over more than seven hundred dollars just in his rescue with what they've put into him and, um, the lady that runs the rescue called me and uh, started asking some questions she was rather concerned because not knowing me I mean all it was was just a contact and you never know I mean people can call up and they act like they want to adopt an animal and they could be adopting an animal for dog fighting or for training you know pit bulls to uh, attack other animals so you've got to be really careful about who you just uh, you know let your animals be adopted out to and I suggested to her you know if she was kind of concerned to come over bring the animal bring Cosmo and meet us and just uh, have us just keep him as a guest for about a week during the holidays so we kept him over the Christmas holidays and uh, we communicated some more and talked back and forth and then uh, Kirsten is her name Kirsten actually and she stopped back by after the holidays and saw how everything was getting along and then you know that made her feel a little bit more comfortable so we ended up just a few days after the Christmas holiday signing the papers and adopting him. I'll, um, I've got a camera right in my uh, hip pocket so I will take it out and show a little video of Cosmo right now. He's laying down and he's tired. Last night we had a late Christmas celebration with some other family members who had been sick during the Christmas holidays so we went up yesterday and actually celebrated our family Christmas with them and he went up there and got a chance to play with a lot of kids and uh, he's just a very people oriented dog but he was totally tired out and exhausted after all that playing but he ends up being a perfect member of the family we had to put a little bit of effort into training him when we got him he didn't even so much as know his name he didn't know simple commands like sit or stay or come but he's a very quick learner he's part border collie and part beagle but it's kind of funny he does not have the personality of either one so much he's not really high strung or super active like either one. he does play it quite a bit but he also spends about as much time resting so to me he's come almost like half border collie and half labrador really but he's going to be a perfect fit with the family 
so I want to take this time to encourage you to uh, check into this link that Jesus Freak sent me, but also check into a local rescue in your area and be willing to support them. It doesn't necessarily have to mean adopting an animal. If you're not prepared to do that, I don't encourage anybody if you don't feel you're ready or especially don't adopt a, an animal for a, a Christmas present. Do it because you've really given it some thought and thought about it long and hard. This is something I've been working on for over a year, plus every animal I own. All of the cats, all of the dogs that I have are all rescues, so I've been doing this for a very long time. And it can get very involved, so if you don't feel like actually rescuing an animal, maybe send them a little bit of money as a donation to your local rescue group. Look online. You can find all kinds of them especially groups of people informally working together to form a rescue organization themselves. They can use all kinds of help. They put way more money into these animals than they ask anybody as far as an adoption fee. So they really could use the help. And if you can't even do that, if you're for some reason financially you can't, maybe help them out with a little bit of your time. Or if nothing else, go online and kind of spread the word as uh, you find out animals that could possibly use a home. Post it on your Facebook, post it on wherever. So other people can that have the space can possibly give an animal like this a home. So anyway, that's what's been going on in my life that I wanted to share with all of my friends and all my viewers on the TDD report. And thank you for taking the time to listen. If you listen to this all the way through, I really appreciate it. And next week, we'll be back to more science and technology goodness. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.